Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. FBI: Hundreds of agents took bribes from CNN, NY Times, NBC News, and more. They're flipping. It's now being reported that over 60 FBI agents took bribes from CNN, The New York Times, NBC News, and many others. The bribes consisted of concert tickets, expensive private dinners, NFL tickets, parties, cruises, and even discounts on travel. The agents are said to have taken a total of 300 gifts from the mainstream liberal news. All to gain a pipeline to valuable intel. I guess now we can finally say what Barack Obama meant by hope and change. But what's possibly worse about this new information about the FBI is that all this seems to have only been taking place in Washington, D.C., when individuals ask the question what has been going on in other areas of the country. There are many rank-and-file FBI agents who are the large majority who are stand-up individuals. But the leadership needs to go, all of them since none had the guts to sound the alarm even if they didn't agree or weren't part of the corruption that was going around. One thing is for certain, it will take the FBI generations to clean up their public image if it's even possible at this point. But that would likely include FBI brass who may make a nice time on the side selling access to FBI intel and policy outright as well. Agents like Robert Hansen. Or like a deputy director's wife getting $1.25 million in campaign contributions while her husband was investigating, and clearing, the source of the funds from a criminal investigation. Rigging an investigation for cash. Is that considered a gift? Or is that a new category? Here is more via True Pundit. Access to the FBI is for sale. Concert tickets. Expensive private dinners. NFL tickets. Parties on booze cruises. Discounts on travel. FBI insiders said more than 60 agents in D.C. alone have been nailed for taking gifts from the news media. Inspector General Michael Horowitz said earlier this week about 50 FBI agents took 300 free gifts from news media. However, Horowitz failed to stipulate that number is only in Washington, D.C., which covers one field office and FBI headquarters. The inspector general did not examine the FBI's other field offices, officials said. And the problem of taking free gifts for intel is rampant, officials said. New York. Los Angeles. New Haven. Philadelphia. The list goes on in the FBI's 55 other field offices. And so does the corruption. Outright bribery. FBI sources who spoke to True Pundit divulged the names of three media outlets, NY Times, CNN and NBC News as having surfaced in recent external investigations. But there are dozens more, large and small. FBI Director Christopher Wray wants this the issue of bribery and the FBI to disappear from news headlines, yet he has not launched an internal review nationwide to determine how rampant this problem is inside the FBI, sources said. Why no national review by the inspector general's office? Ray doesn't want to go there, officials said. In fact, high-ranking FBI officials do not want the list of FBI agents and news media divulged publicly either. Ray and Horowitz are protecting the agents who took bribes, as well as their media enablers. Just business as usual in the swamp. If Ray cared, he would find thousands of bribes and favors changing hands inside the FBI across the country. But that would likely include FBI brass who may make a nice time on the side selling access to FBI intel and policy outright as well. Agents like Robert Hansen. Or like a deputy director's wife getting $1.25 million in campaign contributions while her husband was investigating, and clearing, the source of the funds from a criminal investigation. Rigging an investigation for cash. Is that considered a gift? Or is that a new category? And Ray certainly recognizes that is a place he does not want to venture. It is ugly and Ray, as he has done since taking office, wants to pretend it's not an epidemic. And what would Ray do if some of the involved media organizations turned around and said the payoffs for Intel were a trade-off for placing stories the FBI wanted in their publications and newscasts? Just the price of doing business behind the curtain with the FBI. The FBI doesn't want to lose its ability to smear its political enemies and access to the enablers, its media partners, who make it possible and big media doesn't want to lose its pipeline to free intel. This is what happens when we elected a president based on a slogan, a few well-read speeches, and the color of his skin. Barack Obama should have never been our president for two terms. He let the FBI become corrupted in an effort to turn them into an extension of the Democrat Party to ensure the left would never lose another election again. What a great legacy for the first African-American president, don't you think? Let's hope the American public wakes up and never lets an empty suit like Barack Hussein Obama become our president again.
That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.